with everything swirling around the Chicago Bears this week, um, from Justin Fields' comments, um, throwing the coaches under the bus, that his play is too robotic, to his recanting of that statement, to the situation revolving around former defensive coordinator Alvin Williams, or Allen Williams, sorry, Alvin, Allen, they're close. Um, with the reports of the FBI raiding Allen Williams' home, then reports of Hallis Hall being raided by the FBI, with reports of Charles Tillman's involvement, former Chicago Bear, now FBI agent. Um, there's a lot of things swirling. Now, whatever's happening has got to be serious in nature. And we're just going to have to play the wait and see game to see what comes out of this. However, Pat McAfee on his show yesterday kind of dropped a bomb. And I'm going to play a little snippet of it here for you guys. And, um, needless to say, when I saw this, my jaw dropped a little bit. Start learning more about the FBI raid. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is very, very serious. Then Ian Rappaport comes out and he says, just to clarify some things. There was no FBI raid on Hallis Hall today. The league is not involved. And Peanut Tillman, who works for the FBI in Chicago, is not involved whatsoever in this matter. Okay, but what he left out there was, did an FBI raid happen at Alan Williams' house? Now it has been speculated, and his attorney has come out and said that there was no crime that has taken place, and unequivocally answered these questions saying nothing went wrong with my potential client. But anytime you hear about an FBI raid happening, you assume that there's some smoke, there's a fire. We will say, I, I mean, we've been sued for a lot of stuff, but our sources have told us, yep. okay, have told me that an FBI raid did happen on defensive coordinator of the Chicago Bear, Alan Williamson's house. And I think as soon as you hear that, immediately everybody thinks about, you know, what have you heard about houses being FBI raided before? Mm -hmm. There's obviously very, very, very serious, disgusting allegations uh, yep. that potentially could be in play here. There's also potential drugs, right? That could be in play sure. here. So... Just to recap here, <laughs> because that that statement there has never entered into the mix ever since the story broke Wednesday afternoon about potential drugs. Um, so just to recap, it was first reported Alan Williams' home's home, Alan Williams' home, was raided by the FBI. Hollis Hall was raided by the FBI. Charles Tillman tipped off the Bears about the raid on Alan Williams' home. Which led to speculation about some very serious allegations, possible, um, we'll just say stuff, Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Then, later on that evening, a certain Chicago sports personality went on his YouTube channel and basically said, anybody reporting this stuff is disgusting. You should be ashamed of yourselves. None of this stuff happened. And that was after Alan Williams' attorney came out and made a statement of that. Alan resigned from the Bears due to some personal issues, uh, health, taking care of his family, so on and so forth. Which any attorney is going to do. So now we fast forward a day later. So no raid on Hollis Hall. Okay. Charles Tillman's not involved. Okay. But there was still a raid on Alan Williams' house. And now Pat McAfee, McAfee's saying allegedly potential drugs um now 
as to the stuff that happened at Hollis Hall, no, Hollis Hall was not raided. But there are sources saying that an FBI forensics and tech team was there at some point in the last few days. So there is some information gathering going on here. Now, what's going to come of this? Who knows? Are we eventually going to find out? Who knows? But the fact of the matter is, where there's smoke, there's fire. And again, I get the statement that Alan Williams' attorney put out Wednesday, late Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening. But again, any attorney is going to put out a statement like that, folks. He's doing his job trying to protect his client. But when you have somebody like Pat McAfee come out and say this, this is huge. So that's the latest update that we have. Uh, I'm sure there'll be more as time goes on in the coming days. Um, I plan on covering this because I'm a Bears fan. Been a lifelong Bears fan. And with the things happening in Chicago, um, it's been a crazy few days. So, guys, I'm asking you, share your thoughts, share your opinions. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. While you're at it, please take the time to like this video, share and subscribe. Uh, hit that notification bell to get notified when my content is available here on YouTube. And as always, thank you for watching. I will see you later. Oh, 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 oh,